Hey there folks, Rel here. This is your weekly update for June 16th, 2014, and there's really not a whole lot to report on here, so this should go pretty quick. First and foremost is that Planetside 2 on the PS4 was revealed at E3 this year, which is the Electronic Entertainment Expo, and from what we know, no release date has been set, but it should be out later this year. It's going to be running 1080p at 60 frames per second, and supposedly the game actually looks better on the PS4 than it does on the PC. I'm not really sure what that's about, but a couple of places have reported on that so far. I have linked some of those bits and pieces in the video description if you're interested in hearing more. Outside of that, Kev Mo has posted an update to the Liberator and MBT changes, and he said that the MBT changes are primed to hit the test server soon. But the rest of the post talks about the Liberator side of things. He posted up some numbers for the belly gun changes, and a lot of people will be happy to know that the Dalton is no longer getting a velocity nerf and is instead being treated like an AP tank round, which seems to make a lot of sense. And again, there is a link to that in the video description. The last thing that I would quickly like to mention is Merger Smash, which seems to have a lot of outfits signed up for it already, and it's taking place Friday the 20th at 8pm EDT. And for those who don't know, the Waterson and Matherson populations are getting merged, however, one thing left to be decided is the name. So by the good graces of Higby and friends, the winner of this week's server smash is going to end up keeping the name, which is awesome, to say the least. And if you want more information about the event, including how to participate and what exactly is happening, there's a lengthy Reddit thread linked in the video description. As far as the channel goes, it feels like it's been a pretty good week. On Thursday, we released another Thoughts on Better Gaming series regarding violence in video games, and I go through the actual scientific findings so far, at least the ones that I'm aware of, and I help piece things together. Because if you've ever been in a situation where your parents or the media or random people you meet at church are just telling you about all the ways that violent video games corrupt your feeble little mind, you know that it's extremely difficult to have a conversation about this. And unless you have something solid to back up your argument, it's usually just a contest of whoever can get the other person to shut up first. And at least this way, you can watch the video, you can pick up some factual information and say, look, here's what science has told us so far, and you can either stubbornly hold on to your ideals backed by no factual evidence, or you can do some research and get educated. Either way, I'm done with this conversation. And then you would drop the mic and walk away. But that was a thing. So on Saturday, we released the in-depth review of the Baron G5, which is not the weapon that you were probably wishing it was going to be, and it's certainly no jackhammer by any stretch of the imagination. But that's all there in the review. Uh, just today, I put out a video with a handful of ideas regarding the new player experience and how to make it better. The first three are pretty simple, and the last one basically requires a complete overhaul of the cert system, which I wouldn't hold my breath for. But, you know, hey, who knows. It's important to me that those thoughts go somewhere, and if they end up benefiting the game, then good, awesome. And if they don't, oh well, you know, it was fun to write up, it was fun to share it with all of you. On Wednesday, we had a live stream, which is posted up on the Casual channel at youtube.com slash casualrel if you're interested in seeing the replay. It's, it was just a terrible, terrible day for me as far as gameplay went, personally. Uh, I was not doing so hot, but it was still fun. We try to get a stream going every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on twitch.tv slash rel, and I'm usually trying to play the most underpopulated faction, but if there is a video that I'm really trying to finish up, then I just, I forego the stream, because that's not my priority. YouTube is. But when it goes up, I usually post a link on my Twitter account, at relplays, and occasionally on the Steam group, which I should probably be a little bit better about. Speaking of the casual channel, part 3 of the Transistor Let's Play is out, and part 4 is going to be it. It's a very, very short game, and that should be out later this week as well. Lastly, we also played a little bit of Nazgoth this morning, and I handed out three beta keys, and that was fun. It was nice, short, 30 minutes or something, and the VOD is up on the casual channel if you want to see it. It's a 4v4 third-person arena brawler, I guess. I'm not really sure what you'd call it, but it's inspired by the Legacy of Cain lore, so if you like vampires, like real vampires, not the suave, sexy vampires or the ones that sparkle, I'm talking about the nasty ones, the ones that eat people's faces and rip their arms off. If you're into that, then feel free to check out that replay. Outside of that, not a whole lot going on. Like I said, this is going to be very, very short, and I know I spoke very, very quickly, but I'm going to leave you with a clip of a battle-hardened Corvus just doing a little bit of work in a funny situation. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.
you truly allow yourself to lose? <laughs>